Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back once more. So what do I have in front of you? <laughs> uh, I'm actually quite excited about this. I'm actually really quite happy about this. Uh, so obviously you guys did previously see the video when I was showing off my little brother's uh, Waffen SS Normandy Force of 1944. Uh, so we are going to be playing together. We're going to be aiming to have about 350 points and I'm really quite happy. I think uh, my little brother's Waffen SS is about 348 points. I've managed uh, to hit the dot here on 350. I'm really very, very happy about that. I've got to once again apologise, obviously, for the fact that I'm doing this on a bloody tray. Uh, not had time to get into the garage to attempt to clear it out as of yet, but I will be doing so. Well, endeavouring to do so uh, in the near future, actually. Uh, so I thought I'd speak about what my force is going to look like. I'm going to be playing a US Armoured Division Battle Group, which I think is going to be awesome. Looking forward to it. It's going to be really, really effective. Uh, now, what I've got here in front of me then, in front of you guys, you could say, is I have, I'm going to reel this off and then we'll take a look at it in detail as we go on. Uh, so I have a Ford Headquarters. That is the officer at the front here, Ford Headquarters. Now, this unit consists of three men. I have them in the actual jeep. Uh, you should be able to see a sheep, uh, a sheep, a jeep, a sheepy jeep here at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I've got them in the jeep there. So that's 23 points there. Now the Ford headquarters unit comes with the senior officer, uh, special rule, artillery spotter, and they are unique. So you can only have one unique unit in your battle group. And I went with the Ford officer. Now the Ford officer is really quite fantastic. He does give me an extra order I do believe each turn which is fantastic really really very handy uh, the fact that he's an artillery spot is going to become quite important later on as we do take a look and yep <laughs> he had uh, he had some, well, some additional battle rates into the actual force uh, of course he's regular the fact is I had the option to put him in a Sherman but but you know what I really don't want to put him in a Sherman as like as all well and good uh, an actual tank is for protection of your armoured forces. The thing is, it makes it a target. It's like, I'd rather them be in a jeep so I can run them off somewhere, take them out of the jeep and then hide them. Probably in the biggest, uh, thickest structure I can possibly find or just in some forest or something like that. A nice commanding view would be really quite handy. So moving on from that, I do have the armoured infantry platoon. Uh, so I'm reading here from Battle Group Overlord Beyond the Beaches, which is the 1944 Battle Group Theatre book, which is quite good. So I've got the Armoured Infantry Platoon here of the US Armoured Forces. Now it's 116 points and it does come as a regular with only 9 battle rating. But I went ahead and upgraded the platoon to regular, so everybody's at regular experience for 39 points. Uh, now I've not actually worked out the battle rating as of yet, as I still might change something. But basically battle rating is how resilient your battle group is as far as I'm aware. Basically, how much they can take before they can't take any more. So it's obviously good to have quite a high battle rate and means your force has some staying power. Uh, so I'm going to be working that one out in the future. I might revise some of the choices here in the actual battle group, or it might even be that you guys do suggest something that is actually better. Uh, so yeah, we'll get onto that one. So the armored infantry platoon comes with one platoon command, two rifle squads, two MMG teams, and a light mortar team. I do have the option to add up to five platoon on well platoon support options. However, in this case, I've elected to go for none of them. See, the US forces are really quite interested in the fact that each squad here, for example, has 10 men, which is obviously more than the Germans, 5. And we have a BAR, so that is a uh, LMG, I suppose you could call it, the Browning Automatic Rifle, I do believe. And we have a bazooka. Now, the fact is that each squad comes as standard with an anti-tank weapon. That's as standard. Now, every squad in battle group does, of course, have the anti-tank grenades as like a sort of just default. But the fact is, we've actually got a bazooka here as standard. Now, that is really quite good. The fact is, that is actually baked into the American forces here in these squads, which does lead me... It gives me a lot of staying potential. It gives me a lot of firepower. The US forces are really all about that firepower. But the fact is, it's like I've got a lot of men here. Granted, it's not as cheap as a Soviet formation, but the thing is, it's it's got it's got that firepower. Undoubtedly, got that firepower. And with ten men, <laughs> that is hard to beat. That is a lot of uh, numerical staying power. 
The fact is, you've got some. Uh, you've got. I mean, the the uh, Brown and Eight No MG Forty Four, sorry, Forty Two or Thirty Four. But the fact is, it's still an LMG. It's still got some ability to put down that fire, which is very handy. So we have the Platoon Command Squad, which is ten men with a BAR and a bazooka. Now the Platoon Command has the Officer Special Rule and Artillery Spotter, which is very handy. I wanted to try and have at least two sources uh, for artillery spotting in the actual battle group here, so I went ahead and went for that. Now I do have the two rifle squads, which are, as mentioned, the 10 men with the BARs and the bazookas. Now each of these squads are going to come in at every half track. You might notice, those observant of you, that uh, the, the half track furthest to the left Actually, it does have a 105mm gun. Now, unfortunately, I do need to pick up some more uh, half-tracks. The half-tracks and the, the infantry are from Peter Pig, which is quite good. No, very good uh, stuff normally. However, unfortunately, M3 half-tracks seem to be in resin now, which is unfortunate. I picked one up in resin, and I'm not too keen on it. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the resin models. Uh, the older ones that I do have in front of you are, of course, the pewter. Uh, which I think are excellent. I think they're very nice quality. I was a little bit fiddly to put together, uh, but they are very nice quality. But I did have originally two M3 half tracks and then the two M3s with the 105 millimeter howitzers. The force you see before you is actually US Marine Corps, but of course I'm going to be using them as US forces because fundamentally it, like, there's not that much in the way of difference. Uh, but I'll probably try to pay them up as US Marine Corps. I and mean, at least in the future, because I've got some Japanese as well, I've got some 1945 Japanese and Manchuria forces. Uh, so in the future, I'd like to go ahead and try and find potentially a game that covers the, well, the Pacific theater. Uh, ideally, there might be uh, a battle group in the future to cover such a theater as well, which would be really, really awesome. Okay, now I do have two MMG teams, but you're not going to see those guys here at the moment. Uh, due to the fact that I just I, I need to actually get myself some verticals. I've got some uh, over at Richard York's house, but I don't have them here, so I need to actually go ahead and find them. Uh, shout out to Richard York as well, excellent guy, check out his channel. Okay, so moving on from the infantry. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do here then is I'm going to uh, have my assistant, basically, <laughs> turn this over here. Okay. So, as you guys can see here, let me see if I can get a bit of a zoom in there. And I shall put the focus on so you guys can actually see what you're looking at here. Right, so at the moment, um, I do have two M4 Shermans. Now, this bad boy, this bad boy, is a normal M4 Sherman. And this bad boy over here is an M4 Sherman mounting the mighty 76mm L55-3 gun. For, yeah, three points, sorry, four points for the actual upgrade there. But each tank is 50 points, so 50, 54, which is very good. And I really do like these models. The uh, Peter Pig models are very nice. Uh, we can see here, we just uh, adjust the focus there. Uh, we do have the uh, command, sorry, no, that is the forward operations, well, the forward headquarter with a the jeep there. It's a nice little jeep, quite like the model. Uh, I did put a gunner on there with a 30 cal. So very nice. Okay. Moving on to the creme de la creme, we have the M7 Priest. Now I'm very happy about that. Really, it is. It's. Um, it really is. I'm going to say the firepower of the force here. The reason is what I want to do with this force is I'm going to have the infantry uh, move out in advance, obviously secure positions of cover, really try and uh, ward off any German forces. Uh, in the future, really, just on the battlefield as such. Uh, the M4 Shermans are there really just to provide that armoured support. The M3 Half-Tracks, obviously, is the fact that they give them the uh, movement capability. The fact is, they also do come with those... Um... <sighs> See, I'm not entirely sure if they come with the 30 cals. I'm going to have to check that one out, actually. Uh, but I believe they come with either 30 or 50 cal MMGs, which are quite good. Well, a 50 cal being a HMG. But the fact is, you get those MGs on there, you get that armoured uh, movement capacity, which is very nice. But I have the M7 Priest here. Just for the fact of, I, I like that firepower. I like the mobile firepower. It's armoured, it's very nice. And uh, that came in at a solitary 44 points. Now, that is a regular unit, and of course it adds some additional battle rate into the force. Now, all in all, the force is actually pretty well balanced, in my opinion. 
So we have the HQ Jeep for 23 points. We have the Armored Platoon, which is 116 points. I upgrade that to experience for 39 points. The 2M4s at 100 points. Then the 76mm gun upgrade for 4 points. We have the M7 Priest for 44 points. And then I finally, with the remaining points, put uh, the Armored Platoon in the uh, M3s there for the further 24 points. Uh, so all together, if my maths is correct, that does in fact come to exactly 350 points. But all in all, I think it's a very effective force. I will be going into uh, more details in the future as far as it goes for like what the rules actually mean and uh, really what I intend to do with this force here and how it's going to function. Uh, I'd like to get this painted up in the near future actually, try and get that rolling out there. But indeed, I think it's a very balanced force and I think it will be quite powerful. I think it's got the potential to be quite troublesome for any access force, but it looks very nice. I appreciate the fact that the camera is a little bit awkward here. As mentioned, I will sort things out in the future. But I thought we'll take a little look. Um, I did actually pick up some uh, crew, well, some passengers over here as well. So I thought they were kind of cool. I did think they were quite awesome. The reason being, it, it just adds a little bit of like uh, realism here. Very nice, really. So let's see. Now, this is what I'm talking about. The models here are generally quite nice from Peter Big. So I've been, I've been quite happy with that. There you go. It's going to test me as a painter, but I think they're quite nice. And of course, we have the M4 Sherman. There we go. Let's just adjust the camera here just so ever so slightly. There we go. I'm trying to get used to doing this stuff. I suppose this is the first time doing any sort of cin cinematography I've ever done in my uh, in my life here, really. Uh, so I'm getting used to it. But yeah, the fact is, we get the M4 Sherman there. And here's the M4 Sherman packing the 76mm gun. A nice threat against most forces. But I think my favourite model is probably the M7, really. I really do like the Priest. And yeah, there we go. Very nice model. Again, from Peter Big. But I like the details. I like the fact that I can see all the shells over here. I like the shell casings. It's very nice. I really do like it. Uh, but overall, that has been really a roundup of my battle group. US Armour Division forces at the moment. Uh, I do need to get some 30 cals, <laughs> but uh, indeed, they'll come in the future. So all in all, thank you very much guys for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this so far. And if you guys are familiar with Battlegroup or you'd like to know more about Battlegroup, please do let me know in the comments down below. But of course, for those of you who are familiar with Battlegroup, uh, what's your thoughts on this? What do you think this force is going to be good at? I think it's really, in my opinion, I think it's a nice, well, uh, well-rounded force. It could probably, I don't know, I think it probably is the most balanced force I could probably put together for this sort of point, really. I've got uh, infantry staying power, I've got the Ford headquarters, which gives me nice benefits there, really, in the Jeeps and they're mobile, they can get to cover really quite nicely. We have the two M4 Shermans. It would have been nice to have them both with the uh, 76mm gun. I did consider going for the actual medium tank platoon, which is basically one M4 Sherman, which is an officer and artillery spotter, and then the two M4 Shermans alongside. However, I wanted to go for the two separate Shermans because that allows me to do some other things in the actual battle group, namely like bringing the M7 Priest, which is very handy. Now, the actual US Armoured Forces in the platoon, they do actually benefit from having the 60mm mortar as well. Which is over here. Let me see if I can get a zoom in there. In hands. Yep, there we go. So there's a 60mm mortar team. Uh, now, I, <laughs> I need to get the actual MMG team sorted, but that will be in time. But until next time, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this sincerely, and I hope to see you again in the future. Goodbye for now, have a beautiful evening, and an even better day. Goodbye for now.